Hey everyone, welcome back to some more Grub Guardian. So, we're in Dragonspire today, and the goal is to complete all three of the remaining Dragonspire courses. But looking back to Mushu, which we did last time, I went back and completed all of them for the gold medal. And let me look at the names of these so I kind of remember. The Jade Palace, I feel like this one was the most difficult. I mean, always like the one in the like the last level, the in the bottom right of each world is the most difficult one. And Jade Palace was kind of difficult. Some of them are, it's hard just to get like the last amount of score that you need to get the gold medal. So uh, it took me a few tries to get some of these, but usually once I finish recording the episode, I go back and do the ones that I didn't get a gold medal on. Which, for the ones that are hard difficulty, the gold medal is not easy to get. So, Labyrinth, I feel like, also took me a little bit of time. Yeah, I think this one honestly took me the most time. So, judging by that, it kind of seems like Dragonspire is a little more difficult of a world, because extreme, alright. We'll see how this goes, but we're going to start off in the Grand Chasm. So, uh, we'll see how good we can do on this. A little scared. Not of the Grand Chasm, but definitely of the later two, because I don't know if we've done an extreme level yet. Trying to think, I, I'm not sure if that's happened. It said the big guys don't like myths, so maybe we should use myths because we don't have that much in terms of silver. But they all come up this lane here to be able to get to the food, so I'm gonna put one right here. Let's start with the Avalon one. Maybe we'll go into myth. I could go into myth right now, too. Let's just put a myth one like right next to it. Rank that up. And let's get started. I don't know who the big guys are, so we'll find that one out shortly, I'm sure. But yeah, last episode was fun. A little bit of a struggle. People said to use my grub shield sometimes. I'll use it. I kind of forgot that I have, you know, four of them. I'll use it if it comes to the point where I'm about to die. <laughs> I don't want to die if I can avoid it, but if it's a hopeless situation, then yeah. Okay, those guys look kind of big. Oh, let's go with that. Maybe they'll uh, not like my myth guy. Well, they're they're doing some damage. <laughs> okay, yeah, the myth guys are getting them. I definitely need another myth guy. Are you? All right. Well. Uh... He tried. He definitely tried. Maybe I could put another myth guy in the back. But I don't have enough points right now. So the myth guys will be for the huge ghouls. And then the Avalon guy will be for like these huge groups. Let's just get a max one here. And we can start with uh, this guy here. Do these guys enjoy the myth? They're taking a little bit of damage. It's gonna take them a little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit more hits to take down these guys, though. But I hope the myth works because I don't have too much. Yeah, it's killing them. Don't have too much other coins to spend on other towers right now. But they're taking them out. It's gonna take them a little bit longer. Yeah, let them wrap around. But for now, we could level this guy. How much to level him? Let's just go with the level of the Avalon guy as well. Kind of centering our attack right here. I mean, the only reason that we lost that was because of my mid tower. <laughs> was One, it was either in a bad position, or two, it wasn't leveled up to the next level, which probably would have killed it. Okay, let's rank him. I'm trying to think what other tower we might need. Okay, that guy looks kind of big. Is he getting hit by the myth? Mm, not really. Let's go this one. I always like these towers. How much? I can't even see how much damage we've done. I think about half, maybe less than half now. Plus, when you rank these guys up, they have big range. So, okay, that was that was decent. We killed him. How much to rank him? Yeah, let's do that. Because this map seems like it really enjoys their bosses, and there's a lot of different types of bosses. Let's go ahead and speed this up. Oh, we also got the mini Krakens. These guys are still good. All right, we're taking them out, and we can take them out too. Okay, good investment on the tower here. The star tower. 
Okay, come on. We need you, Star Tower. There we go. I've never seen a big skeleton before, I don't think. These guys are... Eh, we're killing it. We're killing it. Okay, good. Seems like it even has more health than the Kraken does. Okay, 45 for that. Let's just save it for that one because we're holding off uh, pretty well. If we only lose one, I'm happy. But we are on wave six, so <laughs> there's a long ways to go. And there's a lot of Krakens here. I can't level them up right now. There's no way I can level them up right now because we don't have time. Because I need him to take out these Krakens because they're big. They look small, but they have big health. Okay, rank him up. Rank him up. Rank him up as well. Alright, we're ready. Two Krakens for this level. It's not max yet. We need 60 to get max, but it should be able to do a good amount of damage. Alright, one down. And he'll die shortly. Okay, once we get 60, I will upgrade this guy all the way. Because the amount of bosses in this one is pretty high. So we need that. But we have max on the Medusas. And... I don't know if I really care about the Avalon one. I think it's a waste of money at this point. Oh, we're going to be able to get 60 right now. Yeah. Well, let's wait until they kill the Krakens. And we got Annihilator. Alright, they're dead. They're no match. Rank him. Yes, I love getting the maximum star tower. It's so good. It's my fave. Three of the colossal guys. I mean, they all have a lot of health, though. Even for a max star turret. Then at this point, when it starts to get, you know, multiple bosses and my max tower's not even taking them out, I'm like, okay, do I need another one? <laughs> Sometimes it's a bad decision. But I don't know. Could be a good decision for this map. Let's see what the next wave is. Okay. You know, I feel like we need it. Let's just move on now. Like, what do we got to lose? Money? I'm not really losing money because these tower towers are really good. A lot of Krakens. But we got like double crossing the beams hitting the Krakens here. Alright, they're dead. Drink him. This is the last wave. Where's the wave two? Oh, this is the last one. Okay, Annihilator. Alright, come on. He's almost dead. Yeah, he's already dead. Just two dragons? Is that for the last wave? Dang! We only lost one food, and that was because at the beginning I didn't have a good uh, tower, and a good enough tower to defend against the ghouls. But silver is good. Silver for the first playthrough is good. I'll probably go back and get the gold on that. Shouldn't be too difficult. You usually need like 5,000 some, so... But that was a good first map. We unlocked the Basilica, which is an extreme map. We'll see what it says for like a little tip in the beginning. It's not really a tip. <laughs> which pass will it take? I mean, that's not really a tip at all, so. Uh, Basilica. Let's see what the Basilica can throw at us for this one. They are going to come from two sides. I'll just put them in the middle. Yeah, probably close to the middle as I can get all right so this path and then I don't know it seems like they can go either up here and then come down to the food or they can wrap all the way around we kind of need to cover all sides here which is a common theme in this game is you know multiple paths let's probably put one turret kind of in the middle let's go with my fave Avalon and then Avalon number two over here that should be able to take him out for the first round. Then we'll kind of decide what what type of map is going to be. If it's like huge boss map or just a bunch of small minion map. Okay, they got a little close to that. Let's uh, level this guy. Because they can't attack them. Well, now they have more range. We should be able to hold them up before they get close. I mean, I need this guy to attack him. Alright, kill him and then we're going to rank him up. Okay, feel a little safer now. Even though these ghouls run really fast. Please hit him. Please hit him. Oh. This one might be a good ice tower one. 
Let's go Ice Tower. Let's do that. Oh, they're so close to hitting it. <laughs> okay. It's only seven to upgrade the Ice Tower, so we'll do that. Dangerously close. Like, all the time. Let's get 30. And I got 30 here. Okay. Well, we are holding them off. I need a bigger tower, though. I, I really want... I kind of want this one. Because we need to start... This is going to be more trees. We need to start taking them out faster. But they are just, you know, throwing weak minis at us. So the Avalon Towers are able to take them out. Now we got two of these guys. I mean, these trees don't have, like, too much health. Let's upgrade that. How much for this? 40 to get the next upgrade of the Avalon. Oh, see, there's a Kraken up there. The Krakens are probably going to get through. I think I'm going to just let them through. Because I can't, I can't do anything. Yeah. Maybe I can take out one of them. Or two of them. Alright, good. So, we took out uh, two of them. I'm going to need another star tower over here. It's the only way. There we go. Uh, wow. See, if, if my if my star tower doesn't hit... Oh, he's going to get through too. My star tower is only hitting the, the huge guy. He's literally ignoring everyone else. <gasps> Annihilate. Okay, that was a bad Annihilator, but <laughs> we survived. Okay, I need more of these. Yeah, we're slowing them down, but we need my star towers to take them out. Okay, good. And then we got this guy left. He's out of range of him, but he should get in range up here. Come on, get in range. Double star tower. Come on. There we go. He's dead. He's dead. Okay. <laughs> okay, two star towers, which I basically need to take out these Krakens because they're good. Working on him. I kind of just want to rank this guy up right now. Just do it. Okay, okay. We're holding them off a little better now. It was dicey in the beginning. 45 for that guy. These dragons are really scary. The draconians. Look at this. There's so many. Well, this would be the level for Annihilator. If I die, I die, because, well, <laughs> there's just no way. Maybe I could go, you know what, if I don't completely die here, we're going to go uh, the Death Towers, because the Death Towers can one-shot these guys. Is this the last wave? I don't know if we can survive the last wave. If we don't survive this one, which is highly likely that we don't survive, oh man, we're already going to die. No one attacks him! Okay, we're going to go Death Towers this time, we'll see how it goes. Okay, guys, we're back. So I got four death towers this time. This one is max up here, so they're not getting through. Look, they just one-shot the huge titan. I keep forgetting about the death towers. I mean, they're so good. These guys have big health. Actually, all these guys do. Okay, we need to keep ranking this guy. Come on. We can do it. I believe in you, Scarecrow. Yes. Look at this. So easy. All you need is, like... Max or even even the tier below max, the scarecrows are still good. Okay, we're gonna get this guy max though. So my top two are defended by bone dragons. Not getting through them. Come on. There we go. No way. Oh, so good. <laughs> the bone dragons are awesome. Okay, so silver matter because we did lose one early on in uh, the round. But I probably didn't have enough points anyway. You usually need like 5,000 something. So that was the Basilica Extreme difficulty level. And in these extreme and even the hard difficulties, the Death Towers make it kind of easy. So we're going to do Crown of Fire to finish things off. What does it say for the things? Bosses don't like the rain or warming themselves by the fire. Do they also not like death? Because we can bring some death towers for them. And I guarantee you they won't like that. Okay. 
So they have to go one of two ways. That's it. I mean, pretty simplistic level. Let's just put the tower or the guardian in the middle. And to start things off, I'm going to probably put one tower here. I usually start with the Avalon. Just to kind of cover the bases. That's all we can afford, so let's go for it. Crown of Fire. This is it. Final level of Dragon's Fire. Okay. Then I'll rank both of them up to the next one, and then we'll kind of look at what we need next for upgrades. Well, not really upgrades, kind of for towers. Right. 14 waves left, though. Seems like a lot. Just gonna rank him up mid level, you know? No big deal. If I was gonna go dead towers, probably one kind of around here. Well, these guys are. See, these guys are have kind of a lot of health, but they still can be taken out by the Avalon ones. At least at this level. So it's not a huge deal. But maybe we should try to start getting. Let's go death one right here. I hope the hint means that they can... Like, it, the, the hint doesn't mention any death, but I still hope the death one can work. Let's bring him up. These guys are life. The death should easily take him out, right? Plus, the death ones don't do too much work until they're higher rank. So, it's another thing to keep in mind. You need to put the, the time into them. You need to put the gold. Or the silver. It's more silver than gold. Let's get that rank. Two wraiths. See if they can hold their own. Because all we're seeing right now are the treants. That's it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna level this guy. Level 30. Or not level 30, but 30 uh, silver. Plus, I feel like the Death Towers aren't too expensive. Look at that, you just took out the Titan. Done. Okay, we're gonna go another Scarecrow. Plus, I love the Bone Dragon. It just looks awesome. It does a ton of damage. Puts in the work. Alright, we're going Bone Dragon. As soon as I get 40, we're gonna do one over here as well. Double Bone Dragon. Okay, Annihilator as a backup. And I have enough for this. Look at that. <laughs> Just kills them as soon as they spawn. Okay, wave six. You know what? I kind of want another round of Death Towers. Where should I put them? Let's put them... You know what? Let's just put them right next to it. Let's just go right here. That's like a backup. Double death towers. Nothing's getting through. I don't care how much health they have. And for fun, we're just going to get the max so we can have four bone dragons. I'm not going to... You know, jinx the level. Well, I'm not trying to, but we're doing pretty good. Three more. Come on. Oh, those guys are pretty big. Uh. Uh. <laughs> hey guys, remember when I said I didn't want to jinx the level? Mmm. Okay, so I think they're immune to death. Is that the point here? Because there's no way that there's no way that my towers couldn't have killed them. What does say something by the fire? They don't they don't like warming themselves by the fire. These spiders are impossible. All right, we're gonna go into this guy a little bit. See, they can't even kill these guys. I think this is where they get you. They're like, alright, if you have all death towers, you're gonna die. <laughs> and it's the last one too. I can't kill him. 
The death towers do nothing. They're literally immune. All right, we're gonna have to redo this one. All right, so new plan. We're gonna use our normal Avalon towers that can just take out all the early easy minions. And then we're gonna just go straight into the star towers which should hopefully be able to take out all the big stuff that comes in. I know it spawns a ton of big guys, so maybe at some point we're going to have to, you know, hopefully <laughs> get either more of them or... I mean, I can still do Death Towers, but I feel like I might not have enough money to do all that. But we definitely need someone to be able to take out the guys at the last wave, because if not, we're just going to lose right then and there. That's what always happens. Mm, I could summon the next one. I guess we'll just do it. Because I'm going to be doing it at some point. I'll just buy it now. Well, yeah. I um, tried to use fire towers to do this. And I just feel like fire towers are way more expensive than they're worth. That's just how I felt when I was trying to, you know, make fire towers work. I was trying. I was trying really hard to make them work. They just, they just weren't working really expensive and they weren't really getting the job done so but star towers on the other hand definitely can take out a good amount of the enemies so that's what we're using now i mean are they gonna be able to take out all these krakens though no that's like the downfall but i don't expect a flawless victory this map is pretty hard okay we're gonna get the 45 on this one And we'll see how it goes. Because I just want to complete it. That's the goal. Alright, 45 this one. It's always the Krakens I get through. Okay, come on. Go for the Kraken. See, never goes for the Kraken. No one's going for the Kraken. Alright, I can afford a few Krakens getting through. That's okay. I accept that. 60 for this. Yeah, let's just do it. 60. This is wave 5. This Kraken's probably going to get through because they're always like preoccupied with other things. And then the Kraken's get through every time. Oh man, it's not going well. Every Kraken's getting through. Well, it's easy when they all focus one guy, but... Okay, 5 left. I almost want a Death Tower too. See, they can kill the Krakens really fast. They just never go for it. They always go for the biggest health targets. I wish I could tell the game, like in other tower defense games, to choose which target. Like, you know, go for the target that's in the in the front. Oh, he still got it. You know, like in Bloons Tower Defense, when you can tell the tower to go for the target that's either in the front or the tower that's the strongest. I really wish this game had that. That'd be a great addition. But... We have to make do with what we got. So, wave three. I'm just going to have another star tower in the middle. It's just going to be the, the commanding tower. These spiders. They're scary. Okay, at least we can take them out this time. Do this. And I need two more. Because right. it's always like the Kraken. Even though my towers are super powerful and they can take out the Kraken really fast, they just don't because they always go for the other people that are just spawning. They'd rather go for them than uh, the person that's going to get the food. But it looks like we got this this one completed. It was a struggle, but we made it. What, bronze? I'm, I'm assuming bronze. All right, yeah. This was, uh, keep in mind, this was a extreme difficulty level. So that's something that's, uh, I think these are the first two extreme ones that we've done. So man elixir, all right, I'll take it. Not that I really need it or use it. So next up is Celestia. We've got four here. What is the, the Travel Spheres is like the most difficult one. Insane. So next time we're going to be doing an insane map with the Trial of Spheres. Wow. That one, uh, and there's a, you get 101 silver. Okay, great. So <laughs> wait, what does it say? Welcome to Celestia. These maps are very difficult. Great. What about, uh, Oh, we didn't do Grizzleheim. I don't know. Do people want to see Grizzleheim? Leave a comment. Let me know if you want to see Grizzleheim. The maps aren't probably... Oh, actually, this one's difficult. This one's basically Winter Tusk. 
is extreme. So maybe we'll do Grizzleheim. I don't know. Let me know what you guys want to see. Do you want me to go to Grizzleheim or do you want me to start Celestia in the walkthrough with the Rub <laughs> Grub Guardian? I am going to go back and try to complete these, uh, get the, all the gold if I can. This one might be a little difficult. We'll see how it goes. But uh, if you guys stuck all the way through and enjoyed this Grub Guardian episode, leave a like on it, subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.